To build a custom layout for your products from scratch, all you need to do is to go to Divi, Divi library, and click on add new. Give the layout a name. I will call it product layout. Change the type to be a layout and click on submit. There are a lot of modules you will need to add to your product uh, page. I will build from scratch and I will go to the front end. On the visual builder, select build from scratch and here you will have access to all of our product uh, modules. Uh, first, you may need want to add the a woo bread chrome module all all of our modules are full width and have this uh, green border you may need to add the bread chrome it's very important to add to the page uh, you will also need to add the maybe you want to need the to add the product slider images this product that displays the product feature image and the gallery images under that. And of course you have the options to customize the slider. You also want to add the product title, the Woo product title. You have, you can add the product rating product rating which are the stars you can display a placeholder if the product doesn't have any reviews yet you can display gray stars and of course you can customize the uh, colors of these placeholders and also the colors of the actual uh, rating you will also need to add the product short description which is called excerpt the product excerpt which is the product short description and the product add to cart the add to cart button uh, and this module of course is the most important module on the page if you don't sell products a, and your website is just a catalog to display different products you don't need to add uh, the add to cart module to the layout and of course you have a lot of customization you can customize the text of the button you can remove this quantity input and you can also change this up and down uh, numbers to plus and minus uh, buttons and you have different styles and from the design tab you can customize the uh, the background the the borders and everything related to these plus uh, buttons after that you also need to add the wow notices module to display any messages that will come from uh, the product page like when the, the client click on the add, but add the to cart button WooCommerce will display a message telling the client that the product has been added successfully to the cart or if there are any problems with uh, adding the product to, to the cart this module will display these uh, messages so it's a very important module to add you may also want to add the product meta module uh, to display the categories, the SKU, the tags, as you can see, and you can make them look uh, a, a little bit better by displaying everyone in a separate uh, line. And after that, you may want to add the uh, one of two modules. You can add the Woo product uh, description the long de description of the product the long description of the product or you can display the tabs if you want to display 
the product tabs, which are the description, the additional information, which are the attributes of the product, and the uh, reviews, you can decide which one you want to display uh, or not, and you can completely uh, change the look of these uh, tabs using the design tab. Okay, so you may want to add one of these uh, modules. After that, you have uh, two extra modules that you will need to add. The one, uh, the first one is the related products of the uh, product of this current product. Uh, these are products from the same category as the current uh, product. And you'll also need to add the upsells. The product upsells. And the product upsells, these products you can specify on the editing page of each uh, product. So these are basically all the modules you will need to add to your uh, product uh, page. Uh, of course, you can add anything you want. Uh, you can add use uh, Divi's own uh, modules here as well, and all of them will work. Uh, you can just uh, create the layout you like. After saving the layout, go back to the plugin settings, and you can select this layout to be used for all of your products by just selecting the general default layout. And if you save, now all of your products will use this layout. If you want this layout, if you want for the general default to use a, another layout, but you want to use this layout for a specific products under a specific category, you can select this layout for this category next to the category name and just save the changes. If you want to set or use this layout for a specific product, you can just go to the products and select that product, let's say this one. And you can select this layout from here and it will be used for this product and it will override the category default layout and the general default uh, layout. Okay, one more thing to add uh, here. Uh, you can enable Divi Builder on the product editing page. If you do that, Divi will convert the product description area into a page builder, the regular Divi Builder. And it will, it will also, if you are using Divi uh, version 4, it will create a basic layout automatically. Uh, you don't need to do that, so you can clear this entire layout, you don't uh, need it. Uh, the problem is that if you activate Divi Builder on the product editing page, if you scroll down, you will see that Divi will create an extra area called the product long description. So Divi wants you to use this as the product long description and use this to build the product layout. And this is a, a bad thing, don't do that because this long description area is not part of WooCommerce. If you use this area to create the product long descriptions, and if you decided to switch themes at any point, you will lose this area and you will lose the uh, product's description completely. So what I recommend if you want to be as safe as possible is to always keep this option, select a layout and select one of the saved layouts in Divi library. And if you want to use uh, this description area to add the specific modules, you can do that, but don't use this area as your product long description. Just remove your long description from here and add it right here and use the modules you want 
I will add my long description right here and I will use any module I want inside this area. And the layout I'm using, my Woo product description module and the tabs module will display anything you add here as the product description, ignoring this part right here, which is not part of WooCommerce. So this is the best way if you want to build the custom layouts for your products. You can also, if you want to use this builder to be a, the builder of the entire page, you can click on use the description builder right here. And if I do that, anything you add here will be the only layout for the product. And what you do here will override all the default layouts uh, that you set under the plugin settings page. The recommended option is to select one of the layouts from Divi library and use this builder as your long description area or just use the standard editor uh, with your regular description and the and the description module will pick anything you add uh, right here 